everyone, Tim Schofield here, and BlackBerry is rolling out the Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow update to the BlackBerry Priv. If you have a carrier version Priv, you will get it starting on May 3rd. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's new and see all the changes Marshmallow brings to the Priv. So let's take a look by first jumping into settings, scrolling down to About Phone, and you'll see Android version 6.0.1. You can quickly tap on it to get to the Easter egg. You can press and hold on this icon and you can play your Android Flappy Bird if you'd like to. Now the first thing that's new has to do with the keyboard and I'm bringing that up first because of course with the Priv you have that physical keyboard but in terms of the soft keyboard it now has added swipe. So you don't have to press it letter by letter. You can now go ahead and swipe with the BlackBerry keyboard and now it has added swipe on the physical keyboard as well. Check this out. So if I want to say how are you? And you'll see it didn't do how correctly. However, I did not press any buttons. I just uh, went ahead and did swipe on the physical keyboard. So a little strange. I don't know if people are actually going to use that. You can turn that off if you don't like it. And also something that got added is if I tap on a word, it automatically activates uh, scrolling here. So you can go ahead and choose uh, where you want the cursor to go. But then also it adds these little arrows right here where you can customize where the cursor goes, pressing up or down goes to the beginning or end of whatever paragraph you're typing on. You have the new and updated emojis. You'll see they have some hands right there, some glasses, so that you do have newer ones, so you're gonna see less uh, boxes with X's through them, which is nice. Cut, copy, paste got a much needed update, so when you press and hold on a word, it's gonna select it. You'll see cut, copy, share right above the word. If you press those three dots, You'll notice it has system-wide translation as well if you have the Google Translate app installed on your device. Now when you go ahead and select text, if you move the right cursor over, it's gonna select the complete word. And then when you go to the left, it's gonna go letter by letter. So just a nice, much needed update to text selection. Android Marshmallow adds Google Now on tap. You'll see I added Chipotle at the end to give an example of what Now on tap is. You press and hold the home button down there and it reads what is on your display. You'll see it's found Chipotle. It uh, gives you Google search, YouTube, their Twitter page, Instagram, images share, and website. A bunch of different contextual information based on what's on your screen. I don't use it very much, but it is new there. You can just press the G to get to your Google Now. But don't worry, they still have included the swipe up gesture to get to your various shortcuts, which you can customize if you'd like. And I'm really glad they kept those because that's a very convenient thing to have. I don't know why they don't have that on stock Android. BlackBerry Home Launcher got updated. For example, pressing and holding takes you to your preview screen where you can change the specific home screen to be on a different page. You have icon packs where you can search from the Play Store if you'd like to add specific icon packs. And then of course, they have just rearranged a little bit the apps. You'll see they are uh, sorted by letter and then you can swipe over to get to widgets. And then your shortcuts are still there as well. Just a bunch of various ones that come with uh, the BlackBerry Stock Launcher. You do still have your widgets when you swipe up on app icons that have those three dots underneath them. And then of course a nice added update is when you press and hold on an icon, you can quickly remove it from the screen or uninstall it straight from your home screen, which is nice. And then when you take a go ahead and take a screenshot with volume down and power button and then pull down in the notification tray, it saves the screenshot. And once it saves it, you can delete it straight from your notification tray. So I can share or delete. You weren't able to do that before on Lollipop. The camera on the Priv got a bit of an update. To me, it feels like it opens up a little bit quicker than before. And the update that it got is when recording video, let's jump into settings. It now, you can now shoot in 24 frames per second if you'd like to, in 4K, 1080p, and 720p. And now going back, there's a mode for slow-mo video where you can shoot in 120 frames per second in slow motion and no at the moment it does not support any audio when you're shooting in slow motion. Another nice added feature in Marshmallow is called direct share. So if you go to share something such as a picture, a file, anything, it's going to take what apps you shared with and those specific people. So uh, you'll see it test in the SMS app is used. So you tap on it and it goes directly to that person in that app. So direct share is a nice update. BlackBerry Hub got a bit of an update. So there's new app support, such as Instagram, for example, Skype, Slack, Pinterest, going home. You still have that swipe over option where you have your calendar, your hub, tasks, and contacts right over there. In terms of battery life, Marshmallow should bring a bit better battery life. You'll also notice that it lets you know how many milliamp hours each specific thing uses in your battery. And then it adds Doze. So if your phone is sitting idly for a little while, 
uh, you will get better battery, standby battery life. So that's nice if you forget to charge it at night or something like that. Another update is while you're in a call and let's say I press the home button, you have this little floating guy and you'll see it's green right there. If you tap on it, it's gonna take you right back into it. And then if you mute your microphone and back out of it, it's gonna just kind of let you know that your mic is muted and change the color to orange. Another update is media card encryption for the SD card. As you can see, set up your SD card that you put in. You can use it as internal storage or portable storage. Internal storage is where you can encrypt it. So if you do take it out of the device and put it in a different one, you aren't really gonna be able to access the files because it's encrypted for the specific device. Right away, it prompts you to move data to storage. I'm going to just move it later and it says SD card is ready. I'm gonna hit done. Marshmallow brings app permissions on a per app basis. BlackBerry took it a little bit further with their D-Tech app. Of course, they care a lot about security. That's one of their main, I guess, promotional things with the Priv. So we go to apps and permissions, and you'll see they're sorted by the complete apps. And you can also sort them by permissions. So if you want to find out what apps are using the camera, let's go to it. And there we go. So you'll see events detected. It lets you know how many times that specific app is trying to use the camera. Uh, you can go to notifications as well. So you, if you wanted to have a permission notification for the camera, you can select it on a per app basis, which is great. And then of course, going back into the, any app that you choose. So if I go to the Chase app, you can uncheck them if you don't want it to access my location. Uncheck that. So we go location, no thanks. There you go, Chase app cannot use your location anymore. Within settings, you also have memory option, which lets you know how much RAM you're using and also per app, how much RAM each app, specific app is using, which is nice. Going back, I wanna go into sounds and notifications because there's one added one. Go to other sounds, charging sounds was added. So you could not do that before. You can now toggle that on and off. You can customize peaking as well. I'm in the app settings. So if I go to BBM and go to notifications, you can allow peaking or not allow peaking. So peaking is where it'll pop down and let you know what's showing up and then disappear after a little bit and you can customize that. Overall, the Marshmallow update has improved performance on the Priv, and I will be doing a revisited video. So I'm gonna put my SIM card in there, use as my daily driver, and do an updated video. So make sure you are subscribed to me, click that button below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, I'll link in the description of the video below. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.